Sometimes, when you mix two things, you get way cooler results than the separate components alone. With that in mind, I created a few Max for Live devices that provide an easy way to tightly integrate video control into your existing live sets. These devices set up communication between Livid's own Cell DNA VJ software and Ableton Live, and provide both direct and automated control from Live's audio and MIDI streams. If you aren't familiar with Cell DNA, here's a quick intro of our video mixing software. There's a grid of 64 clips, with up to 32 presets of clips. We go with different styles or songs. We have 8 effect knobs, and each can be assigned to any of dozens of different OpenGL effects. You can create up to 32 different presets of effect groups on these knobs. There are also extras, which are a growing library of additional controls and devices for DNA. Because there's not a whole lot of obscure setup, this really invites comprehensive remote control, and this is what I've done with the Max for Live devices. Everything here can be driven by audio, MIDI, and controllers in your live set. So let's see how that works. First, let's take a look at the Cell DNA control device. I've got this on its own MIDI track, and it has no sounds or clips in it, just the device. This is the mothership, as it provides all the communications and parameters needed for controlling Cell DNA with Live. The other devices that we'll talk about, Cell DNA Sound Trigger and Cell DNA MIDI to Video, both require that this control device exists in your set somewhere. So I'll just have it on its own track, and we can use it as the hub for communicating to the Cell DNA application. You can see the device interface is really just a condensed version of the Cell DNA interface, and you can control everything from here. At this point, it's more convenient than revolutionary, but there's a lot to be said for convenience. You only need room for one interface, which can help improve your concentration. You can also use Live's MIDI Learn and siphon some controls from your existing controller setups and have them work with this Max for Live device. I'll go ahead and learn some controls to the parameters. And now I can have a VJ set controlled from Live with only two controls. I've got Random Movie and Fade Out. You could go a bit farther and associate MIDI notes to both clips and movies. In this set, I have these four buttons assigned to these first four bass lines and also have them assigned to their own video in the DNA clip grid. As a result, when I trigger these live clips, they also trigger the associated video. It's a very easy to understand one-to-one -one relationship, and it would be very useful for not only just live DJ sets, but also for theatrical presentations that rely on director cues for audio and video. There's a lot of different ways you can do this manual setup, but what about something more automated? The MIDI control button offers exactly that. With this enabled, you can use MIDI clips to trigger video, with notes 36 to 99 triggering clips 1 through 64 in cell DNA. Program changes in the MIDI clips will change the effects in clip banks too. I'll just drag in a MIDI drum clip and see what it looks like. Now these MIDI notes are automatically assigned to clips in the grid. You could also create your own MIDI clips in Live and make your own sequences. This could be used to launch video sequences with scenes. Of course, when I turn the clip off, we're back to manual control. If you have multiple tracks where you want MIDI clips to sequence videos, you can use the simpler and smaller MIDI to video device to provide the translation, using the control to send data to cell DNA. I'll go to a MIDI track, the baseline, and drop in the MIDI to video device.
Now the bass track is controlling the video with each note. Let me clear out the previous button assignments to better demonstrate. Now you can see there's really tight integration with the bass line and video clips. And that's pretty exciting. But there's more. In addition to the mind-blowing properties of the cell DNA control device, we have the cell DNA sound trigger, where cell DNA control and MIDI to video is a MIDI effect, sound trigger is an audio effect. I can drop this into my drums track like I would a compressor or delay. I'll put it before any processors. This gives a whole set of controls and assignments to convert audio data into a VJ. I'll use the filter to find the drum kick. can see the graphical representation of the audio along with the threshold cutoff. The low pass filter is one of many types, but good for isolating the bass. We can also create an envelope that will provide continuous values based on the trigger. Now we can assign the trigger to trigger a random frame, or a random movie, or any of these parameters. But maybe we'd rather use the snare drum. So I'll change this to a high pass, lower the threshold, And now the snare is going to be triggering different videos. We could also use the envelope to trigger a fade out. The retrigger will make it a bit tighter, so the envelope is started on each trigger rather than trying to complete its cycle. We can tighten things up further by changing to cut rather than crossfade. And now we have a VJ set generated entirely from our audio track. As you can see, you can interactively assign the triggers and envelopes to different aspects of cell DNA, allowing for a rich and varied control of video with your live set. And because it's live, you can easily assign MIDI and keyboard commands to these, so your control of video is not of the video itself, but how the video is controlled by audio. 
And just when you thought you'd had enough, let me paint a few more scenarios. Because the communication between these two programs is at its core network communication, you can control video not just on the same machine, but on a separate machine on the network, even over the internet. If we take a look at our mothership, we can open the configure panel. Here, you can set up what computer you want to control. We can enter an IP address, or even use the UDP broadcast IP on a local network to control multiple machines. This way, you could do multiple screen, multiple computer VJ sets, all dictated by the content in your live set. Another example. You could use the network feature in a collaborative way to send suggestions to your VJ, who is doing most of the visual control on cell DNA. For example, you could drop in a sound trigger on a return channel and use the send to send video suggestions from an audio stream on a track over the network to your VJ. While cell DNA may seem really basic on the surface compared to the advanced complex capabilities of some other VJ software, this killer combination of Ableton Live and Cell DNA makes it clear there is an extremely rich system to be explored, using your music to generate a tight video set to your show.